Run! Okay, now move the camera slowly. Uh, try to focus on that flower. Hmm? What's wrong? Just adjust the focal length a bit. Something the matter? working fine for all the days before? Veronique, can we try a different camera? No problem. How about this one? All right, let's give it another try. Lights, camera, action! Don't tell me. This one is broken too. Veronique, do we have any other spare ones we can use? Um, I'm afraid we only brought these two today. What? Then go find a workshop to get them repaired right away! Oh, and you too, Bono! Go find our spare camera in the warehouse and bring it back to the set! On it. Greetings, everyone. My apologies for the delay. Hmm? Is something the matter, Ayaka? It seems like there are some issues with the filming equipment today. We're stuck for the moment. I see. Well, let's not just stand here twiddling our thumbs. Actors, to the makeup booth. We'll start on the next scene as soon as we get a working camera. The people at the workshop told me that the part which holds the lens in place seemed to have fallen off. That's super strange. It was perfectly fine just yesterday. Well, no time to dwell on that now. Let's get back to filming. Ahem! Quiet on set! Places, everyone! Lights! Camera! Action! By the way, have you heard about that recent murder case? Hmm, yes, I have. It seems that they've caused quite the commotion in the city. I heard that the Chief of the Guards is so mad about not catching the culprit that he's about to explode! Oh? I find that quite hard to imagine, considering how he already looks most days. Director! Director! We have a problem! Oh! We're in the middle of a take! Couldn't you wait until we wrapped up this scene? No, Director. Our film, all the finalized film that we've been keeping in the case, has disappeared! Oh, wait, well, what did you say? <gasps> Mr. Bono, please take me to where the film was kept right away. I'm coming too. No, Yoimiya, you have to stay here. Oh. Okay, listen up. Everyone who's not working on this current scene can go with Bono to look for the film. Everyone else, stay put and wrap up the scene. Unbelievable. How could all these problems happen in just one day? We're back. How did it go? Did you find the film? We found it in the sewers. Huh? In the sewers? Is the film still okay? We discovered it just in time, so we should still be able to salvage it. The others are checking now to see if we lost any specific scenes. Oh, you scared me for a moment there. I nearly thought we had lost everything. I really don't want to experience that feeling of despair again. Okay, but who could have stolen the film and dumped it there? Um, could it be uh, some competitors working on other films? But... If they wanted to harass us, why wait until the last day? Hmm. Okay, we don't have time to really look into it right now. Let's strike while the iron is still hot and wrap this thing up once and for all. Yeah, let's finish it. I would like to officially announce that our entry to the festival, The Two Musketeers, has now concluded filming! <laughs> uh, I'm on a spent. 
It's so late already. Even though the filming process proved to be extremely challenging, everyone provided valuable and unique contributions to the final product. Thank you all for your dedication and support. And just like Director Farina, I would also like to extend my most heartfelt thanks to all of you. Really, you've all helped me so much. I just... All right, all right. Let's save the awards speech for later and hopefully also get some rehearsals in before the real thing. Anyway, now it's time to party! <laughs> Let's all make our way to the beach and have a celebration feast so loud and fun that even the blubber beast will want in! <laughs> party! Party! Primo wants to party! Everything went rather smoothly. Thank you for your concern. Ayato told me that we've already confirmed the dates for some Inazuma Fontaine cultural exchange events. So the next time we visit, we'll be doing so in our capacities as the representatives of the Yashiro Commission. Oh, that's great! Then maybe Paimon will be able to find Fontaine detective novels in Inazuma from now on! Oh, wait. Wouldn't Yaimiko get upset if that happens? That would be stealing some of her business. She's always complaining that light novels have become bland and too predictable, after all. The cultural exchange won't only feature literatures of both nations, of course. We have also made plans for cross-cultural engagements in the fields of gourmet cuisine, uh, toy making, and artisan craftsmanship. Wow, Paimon's getting super excited now! When the time comes, be sure to visit and participate in all the events.
Zapper Loader and Camera Operator. You've both worked really hard. Paimon thinks you worked even harder than us. Honestly, Paimon was getting a little tired of playing with the clapperboard by the end of it. Worst of all, Paimon started having dreams of you shouting, Lights! Camera! Action! into Paimon's ears. The actual dream can't even start until you've yelled that! Uh, hey! If anything, shouldn't I be more grand and delightful than your dreams? <laughs> We've been through so much together, and that's how your brain remembers me? fault. We've just used the clapperboard too much lately. Anyway, what's most important is that we wrapped the film. I'm pretty confident that we'll take first prize. <laughs> hey, no need to mention the official name. <laughs> Wait, now that you mention it, if we did win the prize, would Farina just get a statue of herself? Uh, come on, I don't need that kind of attention. Xavier can accept the reward on our behalf. Farina accepting the Farina Award and holding a Farina statue. Uh, uh, I'm going back to my dessert now. You all can keep discussing that on your own. Hey, you two. Are you not really into these kinds of big social occasions? Uh, not particularly. But this is still better than Fontaine Fashion Week. <laughs> but if this film becomes a big hit, people will definitely come flocking to your shop. Yes, that's highly likely. As long as the film can premiere as planned. Are you still worried about the case? That and all the obstacles we had to face today. Hmm, you're right. It's as if all our bad luck just manifested at once. But why today of all days? Hmm? No. No, it's nothing. We've already delivered the film to the editors, so there should be nothing more to worry about. How are you doing, Mr. Morris? You having a good time? Well, you could say that. Uh, do you happen to know when the party is scheduled to end? <laughs> Judging by how much fun everyone's having, I'd say... Probably not until well after midnight. Is there something that you still have to take care of at home, Mr. Morris? Oh, well, uh, I'm just not a late night person, so I might take off shortly. Oh, no! Uh, silly me. I almost forgot something super important. Oh, uh, what is it? I prepared a whole batch of fireworks for the party, but I forgot to bring them over from the warehouse. Fireworks, you say? That's, uh, truly a pity. Sorry things didn't go as planned. Could you help me carry them over, Mr. Morris? I won't be able to fetch all of them by myself. Me? Uh, uh are you sure that you can't find anyone else? <laughs> I just wanted to make this a surprise for everyone. The warehouse isn't far from here. We'll be there in no time. Pretty please, Mr. Morris. These are some of the best fireworks I've ever made. So I also want you to see them before you leave. They're stunning. I promise that they'll be a once-in-a-lifetime experience that you'll never forget. Uh, but... It's okay. Just come with me. If we're sneaky enough, nobody else will see us leaving. <sighs> All right. The warehouse is right over here. I moved the fireworks there in advance, so it shouldn't be too much work bringing them back. Uh, it's still a ways away from the party. <laughs> <laughs> 